Hey, what's going on? This is Lee with UX in Motion, and in this video, I'm just gonna show you really quick how to export your Adobe XD file over to After Effects. Okay, so why is this cool? Well, I'm just, full disclosure, I'm not an Adobe XD user. Uh, it's not my tool of choice, but I know that some folks use it, and I'm just watching Twitter the other day, and I was like, oh my God, at Adobe Max, they, had, they added this export feature to let you take your, your files over uh, into After Effects. It's super seamless. It's actually really, really good, uh, the workflow. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here I am in After Effects right here, and there's just a project file, and it's just came in really, really clean, and I'm gonna show you how that came through. So let's jump over to XD real quick. And what I have here is this uh, this cool thing, it's called Pause-tastic. Uh, it was just on the XD resource uh, link when I uh, popped it open. I'll include this link in the description. It's just a free template file with animals. I just wanted to use it. So okay, so here I am. I've got all my Canvas stuff, all kinds of things going on. And what I can do is I can just quickly click and drag and then go up to File, Export, After Effects. Boom, takes a second. I pop over to After Effects. Now check it out. Couple of really, really neat things are going on here. So one is, look, things came in really, really clean. They're named uh, pretty well. Notice that I didn't have to like save this file or anything like that, which is great. So where are the assets? That was kind of one of my first questions was like, okay, um, if there's a photo or something, where, where do these assets live? So if I just right click this and go to Reveal and Finder, I can see that where they got put was this After Effects, like look, it's in uh, your name, documents, Adobe After Effects, XDA exports, and then they just start foldering from there and it's right in there. So you can go back and you can access those resources, which is freaking awesome. Okay, other things that I really like, hey, text you can now actually click on and work with. That's freaking awesome, I love that. They don't bring it in as a graphic. Something else that I think is really slick is with the objects here, um, so with the groups, they pre-comp it, which is nice. I mean, I don't know how else you would handle that for uh, like After Effects. But check this out, with the rectangle here, this is actually one of the, um, they're called, what are they called, uh, parametric shapes, where I can actually uh, like edit the roundness of this. So it's not just a bezier shape, meaning it just has the handles. I can always convert this over to be a uh, bezier shape, but it's nice because I can just actually modify these properties here, which is freaking awesome, so I like that. Um, now, my other question was like, okay, well, if I'm working on that and I just wanna add something to this, how does that work? Well, let's check it out. So if I go back to XD and I'm like, okay, I just wanna work on, on this button here, say, so I click that and that, just make sure I've grabbed everything here. Okay, cool. So I've grabbed that. It's just gonna um, export over what's selected, which is, makes sense. So you'll file, export again, After Effects. Boom, it adds it in as a comp two. And now I have this asset here. And again, I've got the rectangle. I have the full effects to like, you know, the, um, the actual like properties, the roundness and all that kind of stuff. So I can fully do anything I want motion-wise in After Effects from XD. So I think they did a really good job. The shapes come through, the, uh, the groups come through, the, uh, the linked assets come through, you have text that works. Uh, I just think it's really, really slick. And again, I'm not an XD user, but if I was, I'd be freaking stoked this week. So thanks for watching. Uh, if none of this made sense and you wanna learn uh, like After Effects, I have a free fast start. Just click the link below, put in your email, I'll send that to you. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments if uh, they did a good job. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later, bye.